Hello everyone and welcome to another video. My name is Francesco and what I do in these videos is help educate you about productivity tools and resources to help you move forward with your productivity. So in this session, what I actually wanted to do is focus in on a set of new applications that are kind of trending at the moment. Obviously, they've been trending for a couple of years now, um, but they've kind of built into the realm of productivity now and there's a lot of focus around them. So what I wanted to do is address one specific calm productivity application. And as you can imagine, with that trend of meditation and calmness and well-being, you actually have productivity blended in it. And that's what some of the recent apps are trying to address as well, to basically increase their kind of optionality. I mean, some of these apps are great calm apps, but they really need to apply to everyday living and everyday concepts. So this is what a lot of these applications are trying to address at the moment. One of these applications that I discovered through Twitter was called Noisly, and I was quite impressed because this is a technique that I am very used to. I mean, I what I tend to do is I tend to go to coffee shops. Um, I tend to try and put myself in environments where there are lots of things happening um, or there are sounds and environments around me that I think gives me productivity. So that allows me to kind of... Um, you know, be in that environment where I think I'm productive, which is good because obviously productivity comes from that. And what this is, Noisly, is it's essentially a um, soundboard application that allows you to tap into those sorts of environments. So you go onto noisly.com and you create an account, uh, which allows you to save all of your um, feature, all of the setups that you've got. And you can basically start, um, you know, turning on the sound. So for example, this one's rain, and you can actually increase the intensity of it um, the, the volume of it and actually hear the rain and this might you know in, increase your productivity because you work better in an environment when you hear rain it's a bit like people when they say oh I go to sleep faster when I, there's raining outside this can kind of trick your brain into that um, situation there's a lot of others about uh, 14 other uh, options here where you know everything from thunder thunderstorms um, all the way down to fans um, because sometimes that, you know, that low pitch sound can actually help you um, keep on task or keep doing a repetitive task that you do every single day. Um, there's coffee shops as well. Another great one that I really appreciate because I like that kind of environment. Um, but let's say I wanted to, to kind of, you know, I wanted to replicate a coffee shop next to a train or, or a railway track then what you can do is actually tap both of them. Um, and you can actually have a combo, is what they call it inside the app. Um, and also, let's say I wanted a coffee shop, a train, and it's a summer's night. So you can have that sort of environment, you can create that sort of environment. And let's say in that coffee shop, there's a fan going on in the background, but it's ever so slight. Let's say the tram's a little louder. You can kind of create an environment for yourself to basically create an ideal environment for you to study, which is fantastic. So just turning these off. Um, I'm really impressed by this application so far. I think it has some real value. Um, but what the real magic is here is that you can create favorites um, and you can save combos um, by simply creating combos um, inside of the main account. So let's say I liked this setup, this exact setup of low rain, high thunder, and a slight uh, river going by. Then what I could do is I press save and I can save it as, you know, forest or, you know, my holiday home. I don't know why my holiday home is, you know, thunderstorming. But let's say I set this, um, you can actually save it initially. You can actually set a timer. Um, so you can actually set the timer to, you know, 30 minutes, 34 minutes if you work like that. And you can actually uh, start the timer and keep that going. So that's a good way of kind of being efficient and keeping on task. But let's say I go back to this and I want to, you know, I don't want any of the, I don't want to create my own combos. I just want to kind of tap into some of the presets here. You can press productivity and it'll basically create a specific setting. And then let's say I wanted to relax, actually takes into mind um, that combo. And also gives you random combos too, which might allow you to discover a kind of new environment. Like this one could be really relaxing or really productivity focused for you. The final thing I want to show you inside the uh, web interface is the noisily distraction-free text editor. And this is similar to the Papier 
text um, tab that I mentioned a few weeks ago in the other video. But basically, this is a distraction-free editor to allow you to kind of start uh, writing. You can actually um, simply just write, and it will basically um, it, will, it will simply write, and uh, you have the ability to just do that distraction-free. The only issue I found with it was um, it did change the um, it did change the this constantly when I was trying to do the work, which um, I think you when once you start typing, no, nope. okay, so it basically it continues changing lights. So it's kind of very actually hard. Obviously, that it's in beta, so they're kind of changing stuff there. You can also save all of that text so you can bring it uh, back later. But it's a full down mark editor, markdown editor, so it's a great way to kind of coordinate everything there. You can press settings over here, which gives you all the access points. But the real magic is in the Chrome web application. So once you uh, install the Chrome store application, which I'll include in the description, you can then, um, you know, you can be doing something else. So let's say you go into Evernote or anything like that. And you can press this in the top right hand corner, wherever you have it in your Chrome box, um, Chromebook, uh, Chrome uh, browser. You can tap one of these and actually start playing your combo as well as start the timer which is very valuable. So the Chrome Web application is free. Uh, Noisly is free to create an account. Um, they have an iOS app, which I'm going to be reviewing separately, which is £1.49, which is quite reasonable. There are alternatives to this application. Um, there are Cofferty, which I used a few years ago um, as a way to kind of replicate coffee environment. They do have some nice... Um, environments like a Texas Tea House, a Bistro, a Paradise. And they do kind of, it, I think it's actually recorded from there. So it, it's basically just taken from that coffee shop, which is quite nice. Um, and you can go, you know, premium on that kind of stuff. Um, but I'll include the link in the description, but I think I find this a way to be a bit more creative with um, coordinating what sounds I want to hear when I do work. And also it's, I think it's a lot better in uh, focal in design than Coffee Tea. So definitely worth a shot. Definitely worth you checking it out. Um, I might fall asleep to these sounds in a minute, so um, I'll definitely leave it here uh, for you guys to check out. Anyway, guys, I just want to thank you all very much. Make sure to have a great week. Keep productive, and I'll see you guys very, very soon. Cheers.